It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Friday, the 13th of December. I'm Michael Graff. Nothing unlucky about our weather out there today. Glorious conditions. Temperatures just a little bit above average through tomorrow. Then we'll see a cooling trend for Sunday and through much of next week. Could that also be accompanied by some unsettled weather, some rain? And of course, Christmas is just 12 days away. We'll try to show you some model trends, see what might happen as we get closer to the holiday. Let's talk about it first. The Almanac from yesterday, 69 degrees was the high in the valley, 47 the low. There you see those normals at 66 and 45. The record high, 79 back in 2010. And outside now, here at 9.20 a.m., we've got sunny skies out there. We're sitting at 52 degrees at Sky Harbor. Dew points at 45, humidity 76%. The winds are light. The barometer is Steady temperatures around the area, 37, the cool spot at Fort McDowell. I think that temperature is just a little bit old. Uh, most of us are climbing into the 50s now. The upper air look, we've got high pressure sitting off to the south and west, troughing off to the east, a dry west and northwesterly flow in here for today, and that's going to keep skies mostly clear. Here's the watch warning map. A number of winter weather advisories to the north of Arizona from the Cascades to the Sawtooth Mountains, the Rockies, and even out into the Plain states, we're going to see some snowflakes flying in coming days, as well as parts of the northeast where some winter weather advisories exist there. Convective outlook for today, we've got the slight risk of severe storms around Tallahassee, Tampa Bay, and up to Jacksonville, Florida, with a marginal risk for the adjacent areas. And here's the rainfall outlook, valid through next Friday morning for the WPC. Not expecting anything here in the valley. Some light precip, little rain, maybe some high elevation snow for the far northern portion of Arizona. That's for a system that comes through here this weekend. We will detail that and everything else now as we take a look at the models, see what's going on. Here's the GFS, the 12Z run valid at 5 o'clock this afternoon. This is the upper look at 18,000 feet, and you know the deal by now. 588 Ridge sitting off to the south and west, a dry west and northwesterly flow aloft. And so down at the surface, sunny skies, a Chamber of Commerce day, highs close to 70. Tonight, clear skies, lows in the 40s. Tomorrow, more of the same, mostly sunny skies, highs in the low 70s. We've got a trough moving into the western states, and the base of which is going to cross northern Arizona tomorrow night and into Sunday. Widely scattered rain and snow showers will be possible there, but here in the valley, the only sensible weather we're going to see from that is partly cloudy skies. So Sunday, we'll see somewhat cooler temperatures, highs, low to mid 60s. Monday, low to mid-60s, mostly sunny skies. And same thing on Tuesday, mid-60s, mostly sunny. Wednesday, another system off to the west. Some clouds will start to come in, but otherwise, I think conditions will stay dry. Thursday, there is some uncertainty on the models here regarding the possibility of a few showers, perhaps even here in southern Arizona. But at this point, we're keeping the chance of rain out of the forecast. Just doesn't look to be all that robust of a moisture or rain producer out of this system. Still just know that we might see an isolated shower sometime late next week. Here we go to a week from today. This is Friday the 20th. little transitory shortwave ridge in here, a dry westerly flow, and that looks pretty tranquil. Going out 10 days. Here's the end of the forecast period. This is Sunday the 22nd. Another deepening trough just off the California coast. Broader southwesterly flow sets up. The clouds return and temperatures should be headed down if this verifies. Now, just for the heck of it, let's go way out into fantasy land. This is 300 hours into the future. This is Christmas morning coming off of the GFS. And if this happened to be right, yeah, we'd have a cold upper low here over the southwest. 543 decameter heights coming into Arizona, and that would mean low elevation snow, valley rain, a very cold day, highs probably staying in the low to middle 50s. But again, I stress this is way too far out for any semblance of accuracy. We're just looking at model trends, and what we have been seeing is the idea of unsettled conditions Above average precip chances, below average temperatures for Christmas Day. Will that actually be what happens? It's just too early to call, but just something I thought I'd show you just for the heck of it. Why not? All right, let's check out those temperatures through the period coming off of the GFS Ensemble. And you know what? For the most part, other than the next uh, day or two, high temperatures are going to be pretty close to, if not maybe even a few degrees shy of average. Those overnight lows around or maybe just a little bit above normal as we see an increase in moisture. And yeah, as we head toward Christmas, highs uh, could be, again, a little bit below normal. And if the latest uh, GFS solutions verify and some of those ensemble uh, members come to fruition as well, we could see a wet and cold Christmas. We'll see. 
And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here on Monday morning. And if you like our videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, and click that notification bell so that whenever we post a brand new one, you'll be alerted. Your comments, questions, and suggestions are always encouraged as well. Thank you so much for watching. As always, it's appreciated. Be safe out there, and you guys have yourselves a wonderful Friday and a great weekend.